Give me a smile, Sorg. I'm smiling. No, nope, behind, not from, not behind the scenes. I'm smiling. It's a basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here with me, Missy Sorg on the couch, hanging out in the studio as we are here most days here at 1619 Broadway Avenue, uh, doing our thing, doing the podcast thing, doing social media things. Right, Missy? I'm doing all of the things right now, Sork. Exactly. Well, we're leading in podcast week, of course. So we're dealing with that yeah, situation. So I'm, I'm actually working on website updates, session updates, speaker updates. We have a great sponsor coming on board for the meet and greet. So mm-hmm. I'm putting that information up on the site. And... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm also presenting some sessions, so I'm trying to get all that stuff together. And threatening for me doing the keynote. <laughs> no, 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 you are doing no, the keynote. No, I am doing the keynote. Okay. You are doing the keynote. Until I find somebody else to do the keynote. No, we had a couple of people in mind to do the keynote, and they, 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 they were occupied that day, unfortunately. Well, so. Yeah. Well, 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 that's a whole other thing. But no, but but what we're doing, you know, you know, it's it's kind of nice. We have the studio here. We have everything that we're doing here. Uh, for our for for clients or for just projects that we're doing, including this show, I guess. Um, and uh, you know, and, and then it's, that's something we haven't talked about for a while. I, in in on fishing without bait, uh, another podcast that we do here for a client. Um, I brought up the concept that I don't do anything that I don't like right yes. now, basically. Um, whether it's you know working with the clients that I do, you know the work that we do, the live streams, the the projects, the events. Um, and even to the point where, you know, on the side and for fun and profit, I'm, I'm, I'm driving for Lyft and I enjoy do, doing that too. And it's kind of a really cool place to be in. Well, I can speak from experience to the extent that I've worked in, you know, corporate gigs where I've been happy for a little bit doing what I'm doing. And then corporate nature, I just... I either feel underutilized, overwhelmed, or just in general that it's no longer a good fit for what I want to be doing with life. Mm -hmm. Um, I I like working with you with this stuff because it's adaptive. Uh, Yesterday I went down and I filmed the Beachview Senior Center opening. Because I was busy. I was down doing River's Edge uh, to talk about PodCamp Pittsburgh with them. But that's the thing is, like, you set out the camera for me you set out the tripod and Mm -hmm. pretty much i just went down there uh filmed the the presentation end of things the you know speaky part of the stuff and then actually did a cool walk through with ashley deemer so she gave me like essentially she gave us a guided tour and that was a pretty impromptu thing too it was very impromptu because she was i saw her it was after the ribbon cutting had been done Mm -hmm. so i'm just sitting there and chatting with her just a general introductory thing i've got my camera she says that she's going to go ahead and you know she's she's going to do a guided tour for someone and i asked her if i could tag along so we did a guided tour (laughs) through through the center that's awesome and i love that that that, that's why i love like hey go down to the camera and just see what happens you know uh, you know, and that, that kind of idea. And, and then you've been around to know that to kind of adapt to those kinds of things and have fun with it. And, and we got a, we put together a video from that, that last I knew has, you know, almost a thousand views oh, wow. since like this time yesterday when we posted it probably actually a little later than this time yesterday. Actually, no, I didn't post it until when did I go out yesterday? I was, it was late in the like day four yesterday. O'clock. It was almost four. Yeah. Yeah. It was about four o'clock when we put that up and it's getting a lot of response. Of course, there's a big deal for the community here with mm-hmm. uh, this community center that's been in the works for like something like six, eight, six years, six years. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that, that's pretty cool, but, but you know, and, and you, you know, you're kind of going on a year of not being at the day job. Right. And, and you, I know you're stressed. I know you get stressed. <laughs> With all the things that we need to do here. I get stressed, but the stress is still a good stress for me. Um, it's it's one of those deals where I know that I need to, to take a break every once in a while. So you've got Dr. Mario hooked up on your I do, Pi. I do. I, I, you know, I don't, I try, I'm not trying to overflow the place with video games. Uh, but I make sure like we got a Raspberry Pi and we threw some video games on there. And, and, and yeah, and we really have all the stuff on there. We just kind of laying on Dr. Mario. Well, it's one that I know how to load and I know how to play it. So mm-hmm. it, it works well for me. 
Um, but yeah, that, that's essentially what I do is, you know, if I need a break from something, I can come over and do this or I can go across the street and grab some tacos that are really freaking good tacos over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise I can go ahead and not listen to myself on the television. <laughs> Sorry, the, the mute's not working on my phone apparently when I was putting um, it up there, but. So then I can go ahead and I can do, you know, a, a variety of things. I'm not doing the same project all the time. I'm not doing the same task all the time. No. No, and I, I think that's a cool thing. Is like I, 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 I've especially lately in uh, the last couple of weeks, I, I wake up and I'm just like, I literally don't know what I'm going to end up doing today. Because you have your like, well, I got to get this done, this done, and this done, and which almost never happens. You know, you're like, you have a checklist, and just other things happen, and you find out, um, hey, how did I end up across the town doing this thing? <laughs> you know. Well, that's like today I sat down to work on PodCamp stuff mm-hmm. and realized that half of my working files within Google Drive. My Google Drive on my desktop has not been updating to my digital Google Drive, oh. which means all of the stuff that I'm currently working on can go away at any moment. And now that's completely redirected what you need to work on and, yep, because and I'm completely working on, kiboshed your plan. You exactly. Know. I'm working on backups this morning. But I, So this is, not, this is not for the people that like to have things laid out in front of them. I'm one of those people. Yeah, so you're ad- you're adapting a lot <laughs> to I, this situation. I sit down with a task list instead of my task list having everything that I need to do, like mm-hmm. you know, minute by minute, hour by hour type of thing. I just have general over broad brush scope of okay. I need to touch this client's website today. I need to c- touch you know transcription today. I need to right. touch this today. I need to reach out to this person about this thing today. So at least if I do a few things on that list or if i do you're chipping away at it and and that's the other thing also chipping away at it and not saying okay all these things need to get done there's always going to be more work right and it's they they get the work that was important to be done today well and that's i was reading an article and there was some interaction with it that i had shared over on linkedin about taking time to step away from the actual work stuff and just let your mind be in a free space um einstein had this that it worked into his workflow that you know he would literally just step away and and let the thoughts roll freely Mm -hmm. um other people have adapted it and they'll you know take a walk or a stroll or something or you know they'll take their notepad and pen and paper and just you know go sit somewhere and just free flow thought because while you're in the process of working on things your brain isn't processing other tasks. It's working on whatever you're working on. And sometimes you lose sight of the creativity. So that's been a big thing and why, regardless of how we're doing what we're doing, I make a point to go drive Lyft mm-hmm. because that's kind of my Zen zone. It's just driving around. Cause if, if it wasn't for that, uh, there'd be weeks where I don't have like a gig where that takes me across town like, for filming something or podcasting mm-hmm. or something. And I realize I'm just going to be sitting here in Beachview because my commute is four blocks. So now I need a reason to get out. Right. And it's a, it's in, and that driving helps me and, and chatting with other people and get my mind going. Cause I need that interaction a lot. And we were really fortunate that a lot of people do come in here to the office and stop in and we're having, you know, we're having a lot of that. And I don't know, maybe, you know, we're still kind of new and people are like, what's going on here? Cause we have like no signage up front yet. Uh, but uh, you know, but even that, it, even if we did have signage out front, did it, re- would it really explain what's going on here, you know, because we have so many facets that happen in this office. Well, and my way, like I'm, I'm not as social as you are. So I kind of stick to my own devices. However, I've made it a point to start being more social with things. Mm -hmm. So I try to make it a point to have a meeting once a week with someone. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have more than one meeting. Sometimes I have just that one meeting. Sometimes you have all of the meetings and I I don't see you for a day. Exactly. But I try to make it a point to, you know, go have coffee with someone. And I try to have coffee with someone who I normally don't have coffee with, for instance, so that I can catch up with them on what they're doing. And I can kind of touch base on a few different things. Maybe there's been a project that I've been kicking around in the back of my head to have them work with me on. Or that I'd like to, like, I see a project they're working on and I have a suggestion for them. So it's just kind of one of those things where... I'd make that opportunity to, to make that happen. Right. Right. And, and that's, big, that's a big thing is, is, you know, say, say make your own luck or like uh, Jim always talks about is you got to buy the ticket to make some, to, to, to win the lottery. And that's, 
you know i mean that's what these conversations are 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 you know opening up to see what's next with with a lot of different people yeah and it's it's nice to have again the flexibility with it uh, I had a breakfast meeting this morning that was scheduled late in the day yesterday. It's a friend of mine that I haven't seen like more than five minutes in the last couple of weeks because of our crazy schedules. Mm-hmm. So it was really nice. Wound up, I got a message this morning that she had to cancel, but you know, it's still on the books. It's still in the process. So it's not just completely writing it off. Uh, we're just, it's a rain check. Absolutely. Um, so, and, 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 you know, I'm sure there's a lot of, you know, fine, fine, fine for you. You, you figured this out thing, but I mean, this has been a long time coming, you know, of, of getting to this point. And there's a lot of, you know, clients and work that we've had that I've been like, Oh, I don't know if I can deal with these guys, you know, kind of situations over the, over the years and, and other, other projects and other jobs I've had to take and, and the day job before that. So, I mean, it, it takes time to get to a certain point, right? Well, I think a lot of it's also learning what works best for you because you and I are are a perfect example of what works well for you does not work well for me and vice versa. Exactly. Exactly. we have two completely different styles and it's acknowledging the fact that you're not, you may not work the same way that other people do. Mm -hmm. So you have to find what works best for your particular situation and your circumstances. And and that goes for the circumstances that goes for the kind of work that you do, you Mm -hmm. know, uh, the kind of clients that you take for as a, as a business you know, and, 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 and all those kinds of things. Well, it's funny because people usually joke that you and I are so different, mm-hmm. but I think that that's one of the things that makes our marriage as well as our working environment work so well is that we both bring two completely different perspectives to, to the table for, for yeah. everything. Yeah. We were kind of joking. It was like, you guys see each other. We see each other all the time now, yeah. all of the time. You used to get like a, Eight to nine hour break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Exactly, exactly. Now so. we just like with with your work schedule for your one client, you're out of town for a few days out of the week for like four weeks or something like that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I I do some traveling. And then you disappear for a month to California. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that, but yes. that's what happens. That was, that's what I was. But, but the nice thing is with the work that you are doing. You, you can take that with you. Like, it, that is nice that we're untethered in, in that respect. Me, me less so because I need to be here doing in front of these cameras and, and doing this process. But, but like, that's a bit of a freedom. It's been a nice kind of addiction. Uh, addiction. Or addiction? Yeah, addition to, to this. No, I, I think you had it right to begin with. It's an addiction. Mm. But it's also nice because you can also do remote. It's not to the same degree and quality that you have here in the studio. No, but, no, no, no. Uh, while you were traveling along. While you were traveling last year, I know that you did a couple of the remote sessions for mm-hmm. for your podcast day on Tuesday. Which is night. so dependent on where you get and what the technology is there too. Like as we as we kind of found out from place to place. So Yeah. But again, like kind of perfect like what can we do when we're in that situation? And even just making sure, you know, I, I'm really big on and some uh, Matt Carlin's uh, produced a show when I was gone. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, that's one of the things kind of on the plan is to make sure there's people here that could take over if we're not here and say, hey, you know, uh, it turns out I need to do this trip across the country, um, but we have a client coming in to record X or we have the shows that we're doing. So, you know, it's, it's you know, it, everything needs to be taken care of. And, and, and that's where we're trying to get to. So, Absolutely. So that maybe I have the flexibility to disappear to California for a month if need be and set up Sorgatron Media West uh, or whatever. <laughs> hey, I told you that I was offering to, to set up a Sorgatron Media West. There you go. You, there you, you, were, go. you were. There's our satellite office out there north of San Francisco. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be a bad idea. But, uh, you know. <laughs> you realize that, like, my family is listening to this and they're booking the tickets now. Oh, they don't listen to these things. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> all right well i you know i think that's a you know kind of our kind of shooting shooting from the hip here today um on on, on what's, what's going on with us and uh, again we're looking for ideas you know if anything you want us to talk we're trying to make this daily but it's like a you know it depends day to day like uh oh, the, the, what, what what's really sparking versus holy crap i had this conversation well you and i went through what three or four different topics and the first couple that you threw out it was like eh. Then I threw out a couple and you were like, eh, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> so you threw out another topic. And I'm like, I really don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> let, yes. let that percolate a little bit more right in some Pretty of these much, cases yeah. so uh check out everything of course basic ergonomics uh, the, we go live on the facebook here uh trying to do this at least every business day uh hell we made weekends because we're in here on the weekends most of the time too we, ba- we basically live here like i'm yeah th- it's basically we live here but <laughs> <laughs> we do have a nice couch, so um, <laughs> I might have taken a nap on that the other day, which is weird because there's a giant window right here uh, that everybody can see you from the taco stand. But anyways, uh, but no, thanks everybody for tuning in, and uh, in, and 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 of course we are also on iTunes and uh, Google Play Music and everything like that. Uh, so you can subscribe to the audio version of the show if you want to make sure you don't miss it. Uh, and uh, and uh, and also we're throwing the videos over on YouTube as well. Uh, so if you catch us over on there, please uh, leave some comments. And we'll we'll get back to you on stuff. And there's a lot of old stuff. I was digging up an old Final Cut uh, template for my podcast video that I did like like a while ago. And it still applies. I'm still using the same techniques. So we'll see how that goes. So thank you, everybody. And we'll see you guys next.